What's up, everyone? Happy Tuesday. We are back in New York, and it uh, isn't that cold. I don't know, probably 40s. A little bit of rain here. Um, definitely not 80 degrees and sunny like Tampa was. But uh, we got some nice views down here in Bay Park. One of my favorite spots over here. Mr. Seagull sitting on top of the pole over there. Nice morning. Super quiet, super peaceful. Low tide. So we're back in New York. Flew in last night. Um, I got in late, so I didn't do my Monday night uh, live podcast. So that'll resume next week. I was going to try and pull it off from uh, the Uber, but I said, this doesn't make sense. Let's just skip it and do it again next week. So um, we had a great couple of days down in Tampa. Stacey Rasky's uh, influential leadership event. Um, heard from a lot of great people. Heard a lot of stories of struggle and success. Um, and uh, then I spent the uh, Sunday and Monday until I left uh, holding down a lounge chair at the pool and uh, kind of feeling the feels and thinking about life and all that good stuff. Um, really, really, really beautiful day there. Beautiful weather, beautiful spot. And um, I came back home last night and um, I realized I looked like a lobster because I was laying in the sun and I didn't put suntan lotion on right away because I was trying to cheat the system. I was trying to get nice and tan uh, in two days so that I could come back here and be all tan and be ready for summer. Wouldn't look like, uh, you know, the great white hope when I uh, took my shirt off the next couple of months. Well, base tan, which is pretty crazy on my part because I've uh, I've had uh, basal cell skin cancer on my face and it's just stupid. Uh, which brought me to the thing of what are we doing in our lives that we know we shouldn't be doing, but we're doing it anyway, and we suffer the consequences. Right now, I'm all sunburned. Right now, uh, obviously, someone that's prone to uh, basal cell, that obviously doesn't help. But still, I laid there in the sun, soaking up the sun, and waited a long time before I put suntan lotion on because I was trying to beat the system. I was trying to shortcut, and I was doing something that I shouldn't have done Knew I shouldn't have been doing it, but did it anyway. Now I'm suffering the consequences. So that made me think a lot about life. What are we doing every day that we know we shouldn't be doing, that we know we could be doing better, and we just choose not to? And we make the conscious decision not to. Um, laying in the sun without suntan lotion. Uh, eating uh, donuts for breakfast. Um, neglecting uh, people in our lives. Um, we know we got to do better, yet we don't. And uh, sometimes I wonder why is that? I mean, I think it's really just a matter of um, mindset that we need to uh, really dial in and really be conscious of what we're doing, really uh, make make really good decisions, make good choices, as uh, my buddy Mark says. Um, and I think it's a constant battle for a lot of people, choosing between what's right and what's wrong, what's easy, what's hard. Uh, choose your hard. Um, it's hard to get a good tan. It's hard to be sunburned. You know, we talk about this a lot. Um, so I just want to make you guys all think about what are you doing in your life on a daily basis that you know you shouldn't be doing and you're doing it anyway. And let's make a conscious effort to stop. Let's make a conscious effort to do better. Um, let's make a conscious effort to make the right choice each time and not take the shortcut, not try and beat the system, not try to, uh, take the easy road, um, a lot of times we know that we shouldn't eat that cheeseburger. We shouldn't have that extra cocktail. Maybe we shouldn't have a cocktail at all. Um, you know, maybe who knows what it is. Maybe you're doing drugs. Maybe you're doing something else that you shouldn't be doing. Um, maybe you're cheating on a spouse or a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Maybe there's something there that you're doing that you know you shouldn't be doing and you're doing it anyway. And uh, we need to stop. We need to stop. We need to know what is right and we need to pick the right choice every day. Um, I think we're all guilty of it. I just wanted to bring it to awareness. So, all right, so now you're aware, I'm watching, make good choices. You know what the right choice is, make it. All right, let's jump on prayers. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to uh, know what is right and wrong, and help us to follow the right choices and not the wrong choices. Help us to be conscious in our decisions uh, every day, and help us to fight the battle in our head of uh, good versus evil, and uh, help us to put suntan lotion on when we should, so we don't get all sunburned. Amen. All right, everyone. So, you got the message of the day. Let's let's be conscious with our decisions. Let's know what's right or wrong. FYE, forget your excuses. We all make excuses of why we do things and why we don't do things the right way. And we know what's right and wrong. It's really just got to get down in our gut and really just make good choices, make good choices every day. And um, I think that's what holds a lot of us back is that we're not making the good choices and we're doing things that we shouldn't be doing. And maybe we're ashamed of the things we sh- we're doing. And uh, it's helping us from growing. It's, it's hurting us from growing. And it's not helping us to be better people and be the best versions of ourselves. So there's your message of the day. I appreciate you all. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go.